of more small businesses are being created and small businesses are creating more jobs faster than ever before. Thanks in large part to the American Rescue Plan, last year, Americans applied to start 5.4 million, 5.4 million new businesses, 20% more than any other year on record. We saw businesses with fewer than 50 workers create 1,900,000 jobs for the first three quarters of 2021 alone. That's the highest rate of small business creation ever, ever recorded in a single year. And we have some of the folks right here who did it. We have every indication that this trend is going to continue. The reason for that is because we're giving people financial security to take a risk and pursue their small business dreams. This boom has been particularly strong for entrepreneurs of color. Hispanic entrepreneurs started new businesses in 2021 at a faster rate in more than a decade, 23% faster than the pre-pandemic levels. And you know, the, the five folks who join me today exemplify what a difference it makes when, uh, when everyone gets a fair shot. Jennifer was, uh, was able to start growing her engraving business last year because of uh, the child care tax credit and, uh, and the small business support of the Small Business Administration. Jeff and, and Nicholas were uh, our master uh, coffee makers, roasters, who uh, have been able to open their first brick and mortar a cafe last year. And Eddie and Daniel, they were able to turn their food truck into a brick and mortar company uh, of their own. <laughs> that must be pretty good, huh? And, uh, and they're just some of the folks driving this economic recovery and reminding us that everything, that anything and everything is possible in America. My administration is working tirelessly to open doors for more outstanding entrepreneurs. You know, unfortunately, Republicans have a different approach. Republican plan, led by Senator Rick Scott of Florida, chairman of the National Republican Senatorial Campaign Committee, would tax half of our small business owners an extra $1,200 a year on average. Not only do they oppose making big corporations pay their fair share, they want middle-class families and small business owners to pay more. Our administration estimates that the Republican proposal would raise taxes on 6.1 million small business owners, including 82% of small business owners who earn less than $50,000 a year. That just isn't, that's not, that's just not right. Our administration wants to make it easier to start a business, easier for a small business to succeed. And our plan is to, one, expand access to capital for small businesses make historic investments in technical assistance programs, help entrepreneurs thrive, and direct hundreds of billions of dollars in government contracts to small businesses in every community. And level the playing field. I mean level the playing field for small business, making sure the largest corporations in America begin to pay their fair share. And now I'm looking forward to discussing my plan and, and hearing from uh, these remarkable entrepreneurs. So thank you for being here.